Well, folks, as always, I have my two trusty colleagues here. And welcome to Noel's World of Whiskey. Hi, how's it going there, Vern? And of course, where's our other buddy there? Oh, Sparky, hair of the dog. You've been into it early. You know what? Uh, you couldn't wait, could you? I hope you're in good enough shape for the review. If you want to skip the history, just scroll ahead for the review. We're going to find ourselves one of the oldest distilleries in Scotland. Founded in 1797 in the Green Capital area of Aberdeenshire, in the, in the old town of O'Meldrum. In fact, the town was built around this distillery, Glen Garrick Distillery. Well, folks, welcome to another session of uh, Noel's World of Whiskey. And, um, we're going to go to the Highlands today, and we're going to go after one of the oldest distilleries in Scotland, Glengarry. Now, it's an interesting pronunciation. Typical of Gaelic uh, names and that is learning how to pronounce them, especially if you're from Canada. And even though I might have Scottish ancestors, it doesn't mean I understand Gaelic, but I'm trying to. So uh, this is spilled, of course, Glen. We all know Glen. But it's spelled G A R I O C H, and it's pronounced Gary. So Gary, Gary, not Garyach or <laughs> Garyach. Glen Gary, and um, I kind of discovered these on my own. Uh, no, my son didn't uh, buy me a bottle, and uh, my daughter didn't buy me a bottle, and my buddies didn't turn me onto it. I actually. Well, exploring I do, and uh, you know, all the different reviews. I was curious about this one. The, the price really caught me, and the fact that um, it had good reviews. It was priced well below other uh, whiskeys I was drinking. So I believe I paid uh, for the 12, because it's the 12 that really got me started. Uh, I believe I paid uh, in the 60s, the, the, uh, the low 60s, it would go on sale for, I don't know, 62 ish, 63, whatever. And that's Canadian, by the way. So that's a killer deal. Um, considering it's 
It is not chill filtered, no coloring, and it's just got a nice sort of waxy, oily, you know, kind of a creamy texture to it. Um, I got to like it. It's kind of a go-to scotch for me. And um, in the process, you know, I keep an eye. What else is coming up? I see lots of, I think, Gordon uh, McPhail bottlings, other, uh, I, you know, some of the other independent bottlers have it up there, but, you know, pricey stuff. But then they came out with the Renaissance series. Now, I was not uh, aware that the Renaissance was out when it was, and I probably could have gotten the 15, because, I, you know, the 15 was the first that was introduced, uh, and it was, I believe, chapter one of the Renaissance. And then uh, they had uh, the same batch, they had a chapter two. I don't even think the chapter two was around here. If it was, certainly I didn't discover it. But the chapter three, that was the 17, um, I was able to get a bottle and, uh, you know, I was impressed with it. And I thought, gee whiz, this is, and the price wasn't crazy. Uh, it was, uh, boy, I think it was under 150, if I remember rightly, for, for the whiskey. It was uh, in the 140s. So I um, kept my eyes uh, open for the four because we knew there was going to be eventually another whiskey they were going to come out with. And sure enough, and I got lucky and still not priced out of sight, uh, the chapter four, uh, I think this is going to, is a little bit different than the uh, chapter three. Chapter three had uh, some sweet notes. I believe it was uh, more of the, the, the sherry finish. I, I'll have to go check exactly what, uh, just memory and all that, but I remember it being a sweeter uh, finish to it. Uh, this is uh, supposed to be a little more oaky. Uh, I believe it's a, a, a blend of the uh, American and the European oak. And of course, all of these whiskeys, they do that, uh, that sherry finish. So anyways, I'm pretty excited to get into this again. Um, it is uh, certainly has been one of my favorites, and uh, let's get at it. Let's uh, do the review. So we're gonna put this 12 out of the way because uh, we're not reviewing it. Though I would like to do a review on it, and I'd certainly like to do a shootout with some of my other uh, sherry finished whiskeys. There, um, let's pour ourselves a dram. This is your traditional Glengarrick bottle, Glen bottle, and um, this is a typical Glengarrick box. Easy to find on the shelf. I can I can see these from a distance. So we're we're going to start off with the nose, and. Um, Renaissance, Chapter 4. The Nose. Well, I'm starting off with a typical Typical notes, actually similar to what the um, the 17, the chapter 3 was. It's got that sweetness. Boy, pancakes. It's like breakfast here. It's a, There's a bit of dough, sweet dough, pancakes, um, a little bit of the, uh, uh, a little bit of the syrup. Probably more the... Um, more of a honey, and not, not, not so much maple but more of a honey syrup. Boy, even getting a bit of chocolate. Uh, chocolate pancakes? And, uh, well, this is typical of, um, of a Glengarry, the, the, the toffee notes. I always seem to get the toffee. But it's, it's such a smooth nose. The nose is uh, always quite spectacular on uh, on these whiskeys, uh, even on the twelve. Um, I'm getting uh, some of the dried fruits now. You know, it's uh, they're just all mixing in well with those pancakes and the honey. 
Yeah, the dried fruits, the figs, and the and and and, and the plums, prunes, uh, plum, uh, more the the prunes and the uh, the dried uh, dark uh, fruit there. But um, now I'm starting to get um, now I'm starting a little bit of the fresh fruit. I'm gonna get my nose away from it for a bit here, and. Um, I found, you know, when I I did a few reviews there after I'd done, uh, you know, some of the aerobic stuff I do on a regular basis. I was uh, doing the Nordic trails up on the mountain, and boy, was my nose good that day. Uh, I didn't. I, I was actually tired when I got back, but I was I was doing pretty good actually. On, on uh, just I was getting stuff that I don't normally get, and I just think because you, you get out, and you do aerobic, you really uh, you clear the lungs, you clear the nostril, your your um, your senses are there. I mean, you're just much more sensitive to the the, 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 the nose and the palate, I believe. So, anyways, it's just, I, I kind of like doing that, you know, so I'm going to have to get up there again and do another review right after I've uh, I've gone up there skiing or done the Nordic track, so. So, I'm getting a little bit of the... Um, the tart stuff now. My, I'm I'm in blueberry blackberry country here, though it is off season. But I am familiar with their, uh, especially blueberries can just vary so much, and they can have a, a floral, and that's what I'm getting kind of like a floral blueberry uh, notes here. But I am starting to get the oak. And um, maybe a little bit of the the uh, the bit of the spice there, slight bit of um, ah, Jesus. With the spices, I I do float around between the the ginger and the nutmeg, eh? But. Um, I, I'm going to say there's there's some additional layers that I'm getting now. So, the the the, the, the malty notes have sort of uh, faded a bit, and I'm getting some fresh, uh, almost citrus fruits now. But uh, again, that's sort of fading away, and I'm starting to get the um, oh, just a little bit of a leathery. A, 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 sort of a, a nice leather, you know, not you know, not 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 um, leather from uh, from uh, you know your saddle or or whatever on a farm or a, a ranch, but more uh, car leather. <clears throat> and the floral herbal notes are coming in, more of the spices. Yeah, this keeps going on. Impressed. Well. Well, time for the palate. Salancha. Well, it's um, it's not surprising me that it is a, a sweet arrival at the beginning. Because that's usually what I get from uh, Glengarry. Um, very much like the nose, you know. I but I, I'm, I'm definitely getting the syrup first, uh, not the pancakes. So syrup, maybe even the oh, we can throw in the maple syrup now. Um, boy, it, it has such a nice texture. It's it's an oily drink, uh, velvety. Um, here comes the caramel. And uh, and the barley, sweet barley, and we're getting the big fruits. What did I say? I said the cookie dough there uh, in, in in the nose. Um, I'm getting certainly I, I I'm getting a little bit of the of the of the barley or the cereal notes. But um, still waiting for the wood. Uh, I'd heard from you know I'm watching other reviews. Um, 
that uh, th there was a lot of wood, but uh, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm, you know, I'm getting the sweetness. Um, the, um, the pineapple, caramel pineapple. That's a nice, that's a nice mix. But uh, now the chocolate. And it's all kind of fading. I think I'm going to have to refresh. Darn it, this is a good drink. <laughs> I just had to throw that in. Okay, um, now the wood is there. I am getting the wood. Very slight uh, astringency. I don't know if I'm as sensitive to wood as some of the other uh, reviewers are because I'm not getting what they're getting. That's for sure of the heavy wood, uh, the, the heavy wood notes. I mean, we, we know the European uh, wood is always a little spicier and our American oak has certainly got a little more sweetness to it, but this is more of a sweet wood. I'm not, you know, and, and there is spices. There's no, there's definitely spices. I'm definitely getting the, the, um, the, uh, the cinnamon and the, and, and the ginger, a um, little bit of the nutmeg. Um, possibly, uh, man, it's, it's, yeah, I, I, I sort of got a little, you know, we seem to get fragrance with the nose and now I'm getting the, the, the floral, um, maybe a little bit herbal. Um, it could be that some people don't like that herbal. I, I, I don't mind it. I, it's, it mixes well because of the sweetness and that. So, but, um. I don't know if I need to add water here. Uh, I could. I could add water. And, uh, and, and I will. I'll add water just to see what, uh, what happens with, uh, when I add the water. But just finishing off here, it's, um, I, I really have some good layers going on because I'm back to, to the baking fruits again. So the wood, the wood's there, but it's not overpowering. And again, I said that there, there, there isn't a strong, there isn't bitter, bitterness or, um, you know, the, the astringency is so slight, I've already noticed it. So um, let's, uh, let's go find some water here and uh, let's, let's do the uh, little, little drop or two and see what it does to it. We'll give it a little shot of water and we'll just see uh, if things open up there. So... Selection. Well, the woods disappeared. Uh, we're getting sweet notes. Usually I let it sit uh, a little longer with the water, but I'm on a schedule, so I know I'm rushing it. I did let... Uh, I did let the drink sit, but the way I'm looking at it, this bottle has already been, uh, we've already got into the bottle, so, you know, they say, what, uh, 18 years, 18 minutes, I don't know, I think it varies, I think it varies from uh, drink to drink, and I think once you've opened up a bottle, you've already got some of that oxidation going on, and this isn't a brand new bottle, I do have a new bottle, a uh, uh, second bottle, but this one is, uh, it's been, it, it, we, we've been playing around and having a few drinks of it, so... Um, let's try it again here. Oh yeah, I really, really uh, opened up here. S sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, again, uh, I do taste the barley, but it's it's caramel, <laughs> caramel and barley and. Um, Baking fruits, here come the baking spices, but um, 
It, yeah, water doesn't hurt it. I wouldn't want to put too much water in this drink. It, it doesn't need a lot. That was perfect. Um, it's, it's, it's a rich drink. It's got a lot of body to it. Um, I am... I am now getting a little bit of the leather again, and uh, we, and, and of course the wood it does. The wood comes in toward the end, um, so let's 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 uh, do the finish, okay? Slash it. Well, I never talked about nuts. Man, I don't know, hazelnuts? I eat, I eat a lot of nuts, so that's hazelnuts and maybe a bit of almondy, almonds, almondy. <laughs> hey, we're getting some peaches and apricots too. But um, they're gone. And now we're getting uh, the herbal spices and herbs. Well, I'm getting a heck of a mix and on, on the finish here. I guess maybe the water really opened things up. I know. It's almost like um, I've just had some um, chili with uh, maybe a little bit of uh, back bacon. That's a nice meal. There's something there. I don't know if they're if they're they're using any peated uh, barley. I, I mean, I heard they they do the odd uh, uh, peated malting now, so they're back to where they were back in the '90s uh, with the odd. It's not it's not a regular thing, but they're uh, they are uh, doing some uh, some bottlings uh, that are you know they do they do have some peat content, so. But it, I'm, I'm tasting something. Um, with the wood, maybe uh, a little bit of chili and back bacon. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's, uh, it's a very interesting drink. Um, I'm going to say about a medium, uh, medium, medium long finish because it is now fading. So I'm, uh, I'm happy. Um, the 17 and the 18, I don't have the 17 here anymore. It went pretty fast with family and friends. So um, I will say that this is, uh, is it an improvement? It's not necessary to be an improvement. It's a different presentation. So I do like this. I, I recommend it. I like the price on it. I'm trying to think, is it, did I pay 160, 150, 550? I forgot what I paid for it, but... In Canada, I mean, that's really good for a quality whiskey like this. An 18-year-old, it's a heck of a good price. Uh, if you can find one of these, go for it. Um, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be disappointed. It is uh, definitely a, a, a decent dram. It's. I, I bought a second bottle, by the way. I, I'm a little bit. Uh, we'll say I was a little ahead on on, on the re review of this in that I did when I I did uh, test it and I looked at the price and I thought this everything's going up. Whiskey's going up. Um, let's go get ourselves another bottle because you know that it's going to go up and you like the stuff and you bought whiskeys that you didn't like and you spent more than this. So uh, for an 18 year old, I thought, damn it, there's nothing wrong with this. And you know, you keep hearing from reviewers and you keep telling yourself, geez, I wish I had bought a couple of those. And so I'm getting a little smarter. If it's a really good whiskey, I'll buy two. And uh, I've got a, a, some Irish whiskey that, uh, it, it's Irish single malt, Tyrconol. I love this stuff. Um, somebody that did a review on that said, I, I think it was Whiskey Jason, he said, where the heck are they getting these casks? And, uh, well, I, you could say the same about Glen Garrett too, but uh, uh, when some of the, the distilleries are struggling, obviously it's, it's managing your casks and, and, and planning ahead. And uh, that Tarkinol, the the, uh, um, the 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 16 and the 15, uh, man, they are unreal, really well priced. If you get a chance, go take a look at them too. I will do a review on them. But anyways, this is a uh, an exceptional whiskey, an 18 year old. I do recommend it. 
Uh, Score-wise, this is definitely in the 87, 88. Um, darn it, I, I, I'm going to say that it's uh, it's an 88. Yeah, it's an 88. So uh, let's leave it at that. Um, thanks for coming. Uh, I uh, think you're used to my little finish here. Uh, let's not drink and drive. Uh, let's drink, drink intelligently and wisely. And uh, until the next time, so much.